The elevator pitch. You know, the pitch. What do you do? <laughs> know what you do and how to say it in 30 to 60 seconds. Write it down. Read it over and over. Memorize it. Repeat it until it becomes natural. Shorten it if it's too long. Now we're talking about the answer to the age-old question, so what do you do? You know, that's the pitch we're talking about. The same pitch won't fit all situations, so create a variety of pitches based on your skill set, service interests, types of clients that you seek, different venues you might be at, etc. An elevator pitch is not a sales pitch. It's an informative and motivating statement that makes people go, wow, that's pretty cool. It's not pushy or cheesy. The elevator pitch is not about you, but what you do that helps others. Don't mention achievements or make boastful comments about your company or yourself. Identify what your company does and what you do for people. The people listening to you will be interested in what you can do for them. And if you keep your pitch focused on them with their ears open, they might actually say, wow, that describes me. I could use your help. If they want to know your name, they'll ask. Your pitch doesn't have to include your name, but it can. Hi, my name is, and I assist people with, or I help people, or I hurt and rescue. Your elevator speech should highlight problems people have and the solutions you can provide. It's what you do best. Stick to one problem and a solution per pitch. Don't attempt to mix it up for different products or services. Create one pitch per product or service and then deliver it to a specific niche, group, or person. Keep your pitch short, as we talked about. So people don't turn away or drop out. <laughs> this isn't a presentation. It's a 20, 30, 40 second pitch at most. Keep it short and simple. The shorter, the better. Leave time at the end for people to ask a couple questions or make comments such as, how do you do that? How does that happen? Or I know someone who could use your services. <laughs> Me, I can. <laughs> you know, because the pitch is usually something that makes a statement about a problem people have and then how you provide the solution for it and then the third component is how people contact you or how they find you or how they take action on your solutions and if you do this in a three-step process one state the problem you know a lot of people they suffer from X so what I do is I provide Y and that helps them and then how people get a hold of me for that is they usually call me or they email me or they go to my website and that's pretty much my deal. Wow, without you even coming off as a salesperson, the other people are like, wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Interesting about the problem because I learned something. Two, I found out who actually solves the problem. You do and you're in front of me. And then if I wanted to, I could actually contact you because you kind of told me how people contact you. As a fourth element to the pitch you could add and what I do for people who I can't help because maybe someone like yourself you know this doesn't apply to you well I have a referral program where people can make extra money on the side these are trigger words extra money on the side part-time with little effort referring their friends and colleagues you know insert those into your pitch at the very very end to where if you hear somebody in your circle of friends family workers etc and you recommend me to them I actually pay a commission and I give you some referral monies paid in cash Bitcoin rubber check <laughs> you know throwing some humor so in this way you've told them what you did by talking about the problems people have. You told them how you solved those problems. You kind of hinted on how people can get a hold of you to order the solution to those problems. And then if what you do doesn't do anything for the person that you're talking to, 
you've at least opened their minds to something called referral marketing. Hey, if this isn't for you, if you hear of anybody that this is for, let me know. I pay a referral commission. Wow, pretty simple. Now, go to work on that. Write it out. Read it. Practice it. Shorten it. You know, we already talked about keeping the pitch short. When speaking before a crowd of people, you could state your name. Hi, my name is Bart. Then you can add what you do and who you're looking to serve, such as what I do is I find people who have a problem with X. And then what I do is I apply my solutions or whatever it is that you do, and I help them. People usually find me at my website, or I'm on YouTube, or I'm on social media. I'm easy to get a hold of, and if anybody wanted my phone number, you know, I'd give it to them. I also know that I run into people where what I offer, it doesn't apply to them, or they don't need it, but they know someone who does. And I want to get to those people, but I don't know who they are, but the people that I talk to sometimes do. So I have a referral commission plan, if you want to know more, that pays people when they refer clients to me. Again, practice makes perfect. The more you practice your pitch, the more comfortable you will be delivering it. Ask your friends and associates to hear it and give you feedback prior to going out networking. Hey, you're ready to network when you feel confident about your pitch. Because, you know, what is the fear that a lot of people have when they go networking? What do I say about myself? Well, have you taken the time to actually sit down and write out what you're going to say? A lot of people don't. But hey, be yourself, be natural, be flexible. Sometimes you can be free to, you know, modify or change up your pitch a little bit on the spot when talking to people. Be flexible and spontaneous. And hey, others will appreciate it. So, recap. When you write this pitch, it's got one, two, three, four as a bonus, four elements. The first one is the problem stated. Number two is the solution that you provide. Three is a way for people to contact you so they can ask more questions or order what it is that you have to provide. And then four, you're also looking for people to help promote you and share and spread the word about the good work you do. And if you can offer a commission for the referral, 10%, 20%, 30%, hey, that's awesome. Because somebody is going to say, hey, your thing doesn't apply to me, but I'll tell you what, I got two or three friends that totally need you. Okay, great. And I can make how much per? 100 bucks per referral? Wow, I just made 300 bucks or whatever the math is. Y you know what I'm saying. So take your pitch, write it out, practice it, and then go networking and use your pitch and see how it goes. I bet you're going to rock.